Hello all, welcome to 50th Java programming tutorial on netstrikers.com. My name is Aditya and in this tutorial we will complete our chatting application that we left in our previous video. So we have created two classes. The first one is the chat client.java while another one is the chat server.java. So let's open the chat server application first. So our chat server application consists of two packages. The first package is the java.net package which is the java networking package and the another one is the java io package which is also known as java input output package. So inside the main method I have created a server socket type object. Now as we discussed earlier in order to create a server socket we must use create a uh, we must use to create a server socket object by naming it as anything like ss or s or your name itself. Now this circuit server socket constructor will consist of only one parameter. The first parameter, the only parameter which it take is the port number through which it want to establish a connection. So I named my port number as 2000. Now I have created another socket type of object named it as sk to accept all the incoming connection from the client. Now the buffered reader will take all the uh, buffered reader will all take all the input in the form of input stream reader and it will get all the input stream. Similarly the buffered reader of another one it will take the system input and the string will uh, store all the messages that uh, comes from the client or from the server. So while the connection will true it will going to prompt that please enter the message. Uh, so if the server types some message then it will be reflected back to the client and if server type the end uh, statement then it will going to print by and it will going to break that application so now it's always a good practice to close the all app uh, close the all the sockets once it open so let's open the chat client application now now the chat client application is quite similar to the chat server so it's also imported the two packages first one is java.net package java.io package and inside the main method I have created a try catch block to handle the null pointer exception because it's always a possibility that a read line method will always throw a null pointer exception if in case that message is not received. Now I've created a socket type object named it as sk. Now this socket constructor will take two parameter value. The first one is the string which which is the IP address through which it want to connect to. Now I've named the IP address is 127.0.0.1 which is also referred to as loopback address or systems own IP address. Now the port number through which I want to connect to is the 2000 as we created in our server socket class we named the port number as 2000 so our client will connect to the similar port number. Now the buffered reader print stream will do its job and while the condition will go through the client will prompt the message that uh, wait for the user to input any message as soon as user input the any message then it will be sent out to the server and the server will uh, send a message then server will uh, message will be readed by the client and hence this con condition will go into true forever until the user press uh, the by statement now if the by if the user or the client type the by then the server will going to close that connection now similarly i also close that connection socket port which uh, have established in our previous statement now let's understand how this application work in practical so to do so let's open the terminal so to open the terminal let's open actually two terminals first one is for the client and the another one is for the server so let me just fix on the size okay now open the directory where our code is located so my code is located in media aditya learn net strikers code as well as the web directory now let us compile chat client.java and chat server.java at once so to compile both classes at once we need to type java c followed by chat client.java space chat server.java now as you can see our compilation is successful and dot class files are generated both for the client and well as well as for the server so let us clear our screen sorry not this one this one now let us start our server so we need to type chat server so our server is started now let us open the chat client in the next terminal 
so to do so we need to first open the directory where our code is located so our code is located in learn net strikers code web now let us open the chat client so to open let's type java followed by chat client and the client prompted the message now whatever message i am going to type from the client will get reflected back to the server so client say hello server as you can see client responded the hello server and the server will receive that message now the server can also reply back to the hi client how are you then the client received that message similarly this will going to continue forever once they press the end button or the end statement now if the client said end message then if it press enter then the server responded by and the connection will get closed so that's how a chatting application works in java socket programming so if you have any suggestions or doubt please do let me ask in the youtube comment section of course the code will be available on the rentstrikers.com so you can download it and you can practice or modify it so that's it for now thanks for watching bye bye